Well, hello everyone and welcome to Momentum Channel. My name is Mo and in this episode, I have two wonderful guests. I have with us Jian and Christine who uh, graciously accepted to join the show. Welcome to the show, uh, guys. Hi, how are you? Oh, thank you. you. Thanks for having us. Of course, thanks for joining the show. Um, Gian and Christine have a wonderful YouTube channel, which we will be talking about in a uh, little while. But before we get into the gist of the questions, maybe I'll ask them to introduce themselves to their audience. Ladies first. Well, you're the one that does all the spiel all the time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are a Canadian couple. We do live in Toronto, Canada, and we created a YouTube channel to share our journey to financial independence. So we created the channel. Thanks, I will not think so. In 2021, and ever since, we have been, you know, happily sharing our journey so far. Yeah, we just wanted to know, let other people know that normal people, like people that have debt and everything, they, they can achieve this. It's possible. It's not something that's only for a select few in, in life, right? So, yeah. Absolutely. And, yeah. that, and we are very happy that you actually took that step to share <laughs> and start uh, your journey with us. Speaking of that, I believe on your channel, one of the key uh, topics that you talk about is about your own journey to reach financial independence. And you mm-hmm. share um, very t- candidly with the, with the audience <laughs> that your goal is to reach um, financial independence and retire early by the year 2024. Tell us a little bit about that. What inspired you to pursue that financial independence journey in the first place? That was all Jayon. <laughs> he was no, Ross Christine. <laughs> no, we got together in 2018, and in 2019, we decided we were going to move in together. Um, and that came the time where we had to have that dreaded discussion, at least for me, about finances because mine weren't, uh, let's say, in the most stellar of situations. So, um, along with talking about the debt and how we were going to pay that down, Jayon started to bring up this idea of fire and retiring early and being able to travel and do the things that we wanted to do in life while we still really were mobile enough to be able to accomplish them right we both lost parents and realized that life isn't as long as we sometimes think it is and really wanted to take advantage of the time that we do have together um, as soon as possible so that really inspired us and kind of spurred us on to our journey of trying to reach financial independence as fast as possible was it the same for you, Gian? What, what, uh, because as I heard from Christine, you kind of had that uh, kind of approach to financial independence seems like when you met already. What inspired you in the first place to kind of even pursue that? Uh, I, I think so, but I, I think it's at the same time, it's easier when you have a partner with you who share the same ideas, who share you know, the same concept. So you join by yourself, yeah, you can do it, you know, when you keep postponing and procrastinating <laughs> and he was doing really well. Like his, he had his investments going pretty good by the time he found, ran across me online. Yeah. <laughs> he was well on his way. <laughs> <laughs> then he had to deal with me. <laughs> it's be amazing. Better, better choice. Yeah, but it's amazing that the two of you are on the same wavelength. I think it's so important for couples, uh, partners, as they are pursuing, let's say, um, financial independence that they are on the same wavelengths they have similar type of priorities and Mm -hmm. if they are if that if you're the two of uh, the partners are not in sync sometimes they can uh, put hurdles along the way so it's it's lovely to hear that and see that from you Mm -hmm. you too yeah yeah it's definitely made it easier (laughs) (laughs) now if you're more comfortable i mean the the conversation that i had in the between as christine did mention before it was not easy right so once it's time for you to open up about our financial situations and, and being you know what being vulnerable vulnerable <laughs> so, so sometimes it's not easy it takes time so you have to accept the fact that i mean we all make mistakes no matter what i've made mine she made hers but at the end of the day as long as you have the same plan as long as you have the same dream why not right so yeah it takes a team that's right is it fair to say that finances and the topic of financial independence is not anymore maybe a dreaded topic but maybe it's something that gives you excitement we chat about that we talked about it all during our walk today (laughs) i'm like are you sure 2023 we can't do 2023 by the way it it, as you know it did start in 2028 so we cut it four Uh years now we know that it's possible in 2024 but as we get excited we think no we keep thinking about 
day or night with our friends, with our family. Yeah. We are now thinking, not we, maybe Christine. <laughs> <laughs> So well, maybe 2023, or mm, I don't know. I am always like the cautious, the one. cautious <laughs> one, making sure that you're going to have time, you're going to have the resources to do. Yeah. And she is the one who says, yes, we can do it. So, and sometimes, or not, not sometimes, I would say most of the times, yes, we can, but I'm still, yeah. you know. But yeah, we talk about it all the time. Yeah. If it's not like directly financial independence, it's the YouTube channel and what we want to share with people this week and mm -hmm. yeah but it's we talk about finances daily we do we do yeah. it's part of our routine actually so yeah. yeah that makes it so powerful and really mm -hmm. uh kudos to you for having that those type of dialogue and conversation um when did you start investing in the stock market because as ha having watched uh, your channel i understand that the stock market is a considerable portion of your uh, asset allocation yeah. Um, so do you mind sharing with us when did you start uh, investing in the stock market? Yeah, on my case, it's been, I would say, at least 15 years. So I immigrated to Canada a long time ago. So after I immigrated, I had some investments in Brazil that I have to bring up here to Canada. And I've never heard anything about, you know, what are options available or not. So that's when I started. And... But it was more, you know, like because you have to, because of the RSPs and all of those things. So I have started investing, made so many mistakes and we still do <laughs> up to today. But I would say more heavily once, you know, uh, Christian and I and we met and we get together and and it's been more, I would say, over the last two years, three years. Yeah. 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 I've done a little bit with weed stocks and let me tell uh, you, uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe not the best investment stocks. <laughs> For me tell me about it christina oh man <laughs> i've had my fair share of uh, losses there as well <laughs> yeah so but no i didn't really start investing in stocks until jayan yeah yeah i know jayan you've, you've invested probably a little bit longer um than christine but regardless or let's say even within the span of the past two or three years that you've invest, started investing more heavily Mm -hmm. Have there been some key lessons that uh, you've learned along the way uh, that you can reflect back and share uh, with our audience? Oh, lessons. There are so many. We are going to spend like the whole day <laughs> talking here. So maybe I'll limit you to top three lessons. Okay, there we go. The yeah. top three, I think, is consist consistency. It's something that you definitely need to do. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll also say... Not letting your fear get in the way or your yeah. uh, lack of knowledge prevent you mm -hmm. from taking your initial steps. I think mm -hmm. that was a big barrier for me personally, yeah. but once you get over that, and if you can get past that, it's mm -hmm. uh, very uh, beneficial. It is, it is. And I would say the other one is, as long as you are investing for a long time, a long horizon, so you know that it is gonna be worth it, right? So that's, I guess those are the biggest lesson yeah all those ups and downs can really throw you for a bit of an emotional roller coaster if you're mm -hmm. too concentrated on the immediate return yeah the immediate return in them but you just have to realize that you've got years and years ahead of you and if you invested in the proper things then you don't have much to worry about you mentioned investing in the proper things uh christine which is a nice <laughs> segue to my next question what type of investors um you and Jean are mostly more of a passive active and maybe elaborate on that a little bit further. Mm -hmm. um, I think we would like to be more passive, but we're pretty active in our investments, only to the fact that we look at them probably more than we need to. We look every day and we're constantly, you know, checking to see which dividends have paid out and stuff. Um, I think we ideally would like to become a little bit more passive where they just kind of, we set it and forget it in the background. But right now we're pretty in tune with what they're doing mm -hmm. in the market, I think. No, it's some, somewhat, it's, it, it's passive because that's basically what we do. We know that, I guess that it's more to the fact that we like to, to invest on top of what we already do with the dividend stocks. And we also try to diversify as much as we can, knowing that Canada kind of represents around 2 or 3% of the whole market. So having an opportunity to definitely, yes, being passive, but at the same time, we are so excited about yeah. fire that we want to do, you know, one extra step. What else can we do? What else can we improve? Mm -hmm. And honestly, it gets to a point where you can't do anything else. You know, you need to leave, you know, Mr. Time mm -hmm. 
do the rest of the work for us, yeah. right? So Jan does do some swing trades. So that's a bit more of an active type investment strategy yeah. as well. Uh, we haven't done that many this year, actually. No. So we might get back into that a little bit, but yeah, we're kind of a mix, I think. Yeah. As we call ourselves hybrid, right? Because we have ETFs, we have dividend paying stocks, we also have growth stocks. So it's a mix yeah. and match. That's fantastic. Well, thanks for sharing that. Thanks for sharing that with us. Now, we are in 2022 as we are recording this video and still early on in the year. Are there certain uh, stocks? And if you're not comfortable with that, perhaps are there certain sectors in the market that you're most excited about um, as you ref reflect on this year ahead of us? Well, I think with everything going on right now in the world with the markets and stuff, I think the Canadian energy market is going to do quite well. And so we have a few positions in that that potentially could show us mm -hmm. some better returns this year. And overall, I think the Canadian market this year, even with all the fluctuations and everything that's going on, um, we're doing great. Our portfolios really bounced back from where it was at some of its low points in December and January. So mm -hmm. uh, I think we're hopeful for this year for the entire market, but the energy sector could, mm -hmm. yeah. could show us some good things. Yeah. Financial as always, it's good, right? For the banks here in Canada, but it also depends on where you are. If I were to start now, I would really look into technology because it's really been hit as we do record this video now. So if you are thinking about, you know, a long term. Yeah. You definitely have, you know, with good results. Mm -hmm. So for our audience, if you haven't uh, yet checked out um, Gian and Christine's uh, YouTube, Fire We Go, I will definitely add the link to the description of the video. Uh, be sure to check, uh, check them out and follow along their journey because for all we know, they might even retire but in 2022. You never know. <laughs> oh my God, new goal. <laughs> Thank you so much again for your time. Why, Why not? not, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah.